What's going on everybody and in this video I would like to show you some MacBook tips and tricks that you may not know about, so let's get started with this video right now. So the first tip would actually be to get organized. I mean, if you swipe up using your three fingers or using your four fingers depending on how you have it set up, or you even have the option to click on this button, F3, and you will get to this desktop section which opens up all of the open tabs and all of the open windows. So you know that if you go up here you have multiple windows, multiple desktops actually, and here you have the plus icon so you can always add a new one and you can add as many as you want. So my tip would be to get organized with this. Make sure that the first desktop is going to be your work, then the second one can be your school or whatever else, but you get my point. Unfortunately, you are not able to rename the desktops, at least I have no idea how to do it. But if you want to switch between these desktops, use your three fingers and swipe like this. And you can actually swipe between them, so it's easy as that. Or, just like I said in the beginning, you can also use your four fingers, that's also an option that you can set up in the settings. So here is my main desktop where I have all of the things set up. So let's say for example that I want to drag this Google Chrome to the next one, so I will simply grab it and make it go to the desktop too. So you can see that I already have it right here without any problems. There is also an option to switch or move the windows between the pages or the desktops using the method where you grab on the window and you wait until it goes up to the next screen. I think that it is a lot better option to simply swipe up like this and move this one over. So I think that this one is definitely a better option. One thing that you should also know if you go to the desktop where you don't have the windows open. I mean, let me give you an example. This is the desktop 3 and I'm having the settings or system preferences turned on here or open up on this desktop. So if I go to the third one and if I click on the system preferences down below in the dock, it's gonna redirect me and move me back to the desktop 3 where the system preferences are open. Just like that. Another tip that I would give you that has to do something with this open windows on one desktop is that if you swipe up using your three or four fingers and if you want to you can always click on this one and it's gonna appear on the top or you can simply place your mouse on this one and swipe down using the three or four fingers and it's gonna have the very same effect. I mean, just in case you, you consider it to be more effective or maybe if you like it more, that's, that's an option as well. So the second tip or trick that I would like to show you is actually a very easy way how you can rename a file normally or if you are used to from Windows computers, you use two fingers to activate the right mouse click and you go all the way down to click on rename and now you can re rename it however you want, click enter and it's done. Or you can simply just click on the file, click enter and it's gonna do the very same thing. It has the very same effect. So you can see I can rename it just by pressing the enter. I also think about making it like a series where I will show you like every single month some new tips and tricks for your MacBook. Just like I do it with the best apps for the Apple Watch where I show you some new apps every month. I'm not sure if it's really going to happen but I will try to so definitely subscribe for that and also for other useful content that I think that you would definitely enjoy. Okay, and the last tip that I would like to give you has to do something with this area at the top with the dashboard or whatever you want to call it. Here you can see that I have multiple windows or some indicators telling me uh, the Wi-Fi signal and battery and stuff like that. But in case you also want to move these around, it's actually very easy. All you have to do is just to click on the command and simply move it around. You can see that it goes just like that. And it also can help you if you want to have your MacBook just a little bit more organized. So this will be everything what I wanted to say in this video. I really hope you found it useful and informative and if you found something useful in here and if you learned something from it and if you learned something from it then definitely hit the thumbs up to let me know that you liked it and for more content like this definitely don't forget to click the subscribe button right now and make sure we see each other in the next video as well. Peace out guys.